Well, welcome back everyone to the life of an outdoorsman. I'm here again doing the sight fishing hole and uh, we're gonna see how, ma how many pike we can get on today. Hopefully we will be getting some good, nice pike. I was here yesterday and action wasn't that good, but I did not have real bait. I was using plastics. So today we're using mackerels again, as you guessed, and let's catch some fish. All right, here we go. Here's the first drop. First drop down. See how quick it takes for a pike to come. Super clear water today, which is nice for filming. There he is, there he is, he's right there. Same pike as yesterday, I can see the same spot in his mouth. Come on. I gotta get ready to turn the uh, bale open once he bites it. There, he's got it. He's taking it. He's taking it, boys! He's taking it! Didn't take long at all. I'm here maybe five minutes so far fishing. Wait till he stops with it. He's not stopping, so I'm just going to have to pull on it. Yeah, he's not stopping. Oh, he stopped. No, he's still moving. Okay, I'm going to hit him. There we go. Got him. Oh, lost him. Oh, no, he's swimming towards me. There we go. There we go. Nice. He's going in circles around the hole. He's going in circles around the hole. Oh, come on. There he is. There he is. Strong one. Yeah, that is just feeling strong today. Look at that. Beautiful. Majestic. He's a good sized pike too. He's been caught before, I can see by the Mark on his mouth. Look at that. Nice majestic fish. I should close the window here. Have a better view of him. Uh oh, he's bleeding. I gotta get the I gotta get the hook out quick. I see the bleed blood coming off in the <clears throat> Ooh, that's not good. Nice splash and everything. Come on. No, oh, stop. If you want to go back in, you're going to have to cooperate. There you go. Hooks out. Let's open this so you get a little better view of them. Or not. He's gone. Oh. First fish on the board. Nice. Let's hook up another one of these macros that are still frozen. Okay, so like I say, first hook right behind the head, second hook goes right at the tail. And just like that. And he doesn't have that much air in his bladder because he's still sitting upright. There we go. Drop it down. Close the window. Let him settle out so you can get a better view of it. It'll kind of come out towards the middle a little bit more. There's one, there's one right there. 
It's a smaller one. Open the bale and let him run with it for a bit. He didn't have a very good. So there now he's 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 chewing it because he's not moving and I can see the line just kind of bouncing. Now he's pulling. Now he's pulling. So I could probably hit him right now. I'll just wait just a second more longer. See if he stops again. Yeah, he stopped again. He's turning directions. Okay, I'm gonna hit him. Three, two, one. There we go. I got him. I got him. I got him. Ooh, he's mad. Ooh, buddy, he's mad. Maybe turn my drag a little bit looser, but he's not hooked very well. So I might lose him, but oh, it's just right in the corner of the mouth. Keep tension on him. Yeah, keep tension on him. Let's open up. Oh, no, no, stop, 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 stop. I do not want to stick my fingers down there very un uh, haphazardly. Let's grab him here. All the hooks, all the hooks are right here at the front of his mouth. Cause it didn't give him long to eat it, so worked out well that way. Oh, come on, you pliers! Pliers, cooperate. That one hooked him on the bottom of the mouth. Okay. Take a look at that one. Beautiful pike. Send him back. There he goes. Pike number two. Let's go for pike number three. There he is. Boom. He's got it. Set up. Here we go. He ate it right there below me. I think you could even see that. He stuck the whole thing in his mouth. Boom, right there, check that out. Yeah, I'm getting glare in here now. But it's beautiful, beautiful pike though. There we go. Hook should be right in the corner of the mouth. Let's close this window. Because it's not doing that, not much good. Open this one behind me. That's a little better, maybe. A, these pike aren't too bad. They're, ooh, I felt the hook on that one when he flipped. Okay, let's try and not get myself hooked here. I grab the other side. There we go. Fire's nice and handy. Kind of pry his mouth open a bit. Both hooks are right here. Top of the mouth. Easier to get out than the gills. Healthier for the fish too. Both hooks are out. Okay, let's open this up, show it off to the camera for a second. He had different ideas. Uh. Well, I guess one thing to know is that they're they're getting back healthy, which is good. And he even left my minnow on the bottom down there. I don't know. Maybe I'll see something come by and eat it. That'd be cool. All right. So what I'm thinking is it's been about probably close to half an hour without anything coming through in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my other rod. I'm gonna set it outside on the hook setter. Or not hook center, but the the iFish Pro style 3D printed stand, and uh, we're gonna set one up there. We're gonna put the bells on it, or the bells are on it. So then uh, we'll sit in here, come back, bring the camera back in, and hopefully we'll have a better chance of catching something. Because um, as usual, this pond, as soon as it hits about 3:30, especially late in the season. 3.30 in the afternoon, it just kind of shuts down. Mm, you can get them afterwards, but it's it's not very likely. So 
or not as likely. So let's look at the other rod. Let's set it outside. I'll see you out there. Okay, I've got that one set up. We're just gonna wait for the bells to go off and I'm gonna go back in the shack and see if we can get one out here too. There's one, there's one right there. Boom. He's eating it right below the hole. Let's tighten up the drag. Tighten up the drag. He's got one hook in his mouth, good. I could set the hook right here. Let's do it. Got him. Yes, sir, Bob. Small one. <clears throat> there we go. He's almost tuckered out. One in the corner of the mouth and one on his nose. Perfect. Seems to be all tired out already. What's with this? He hasn't even gone a good run yet. But my line's all tangled, so I better better well may as well try and get the pole in here. Mine's all tangled around his face. Uh, he might have kind of bent up the quick strike rig on that one. Oh, all he's doing is just biting it now. There we go. Nice. Small one, but uh, a nice one. And he has to splash everything on his way out, of course. Small ones have a tendency to do that. All right, let's get another middle one. Oh no. False alarm. No bells. Must have been some birds or something. But what I can do is I can jiggle this. While I'm here. And see if anything will be enticed to take it. Okay, let's leave her alone again and uh, go back to the tent. There he comes. He's right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Take it. Yes. Boom. He's got it. He's got it. You gotta tighten up the drag. A little too tight, maybe. I'm gonna close the bale and lay into him. He stopped, so he's probably chewing on it. There he goes, he's moving again. There we go, got him. Kind of sit, setting the hook backwards here, but whatever. There we go. Yes. There he goes, a little bit of a run. There we go. Got one, finally. Fifth fish. Glad I got another one before I had to leave here because it's starting to get a little darker. Sun's been down. At least I think the sun's down or almost down. And nice spike to kind of end the session off. I think this is going to be the last fish and then I'm going to head out. Yeah. Let's uh, get some light in here. Yeah, check that dude out. He went a little bit deep with the hooks, but that's okay. Oh, he's got a hook sticking out the bottom here. Ooh, that was close. That almost got my fingers. That almost got my fingers. Uh, come on. Hooks sticking out of the bottom, as you might be able to see that. That is very da dangerous for fingers to be around. Let's pr try and pull that one out first. There we go. That one's out. Okay. So we're doing a little better off here now. 
Now we grab the other one from inside the uh, inside the mouth. He's very angry and does not want to open his mouth. That is very typical as well. He is also kind of a uh, got some very large teeth. Oh. Very large teeth that I don't want to get close to. Are you done? Are you done? He's not done. He's not done. It's the problem with having a quick strike rig with two hooks on it. You always got to be careful about the other hook and where it is. There we go. Now I can use my thumb, hopefully, to keep his mouth open. While I dig in here with the pliers, that one was a little bit on the deep side. There we go, hooks out. Gotta show it off to the camera a little bit. Another nice one. And he's ready to go. There we go. Fish number five. Well, I think that's gonna finish the day off. Got the fifth fish there. I wanted, sat here for, I don't know, probably two hours almost without anything and then that one came through. So I'm kind of happy. Got five fish today and nothing on the one outside, which is kind of odd, but uh, yeah, like I say, this is a very typical day where you set up, you know, I, I only was able to get here at like 2.30 or so but they, it's good from there till about 3.30, almost like every time, 3.30, it just drops right off and then there's hardly anything coming through. So um, that's just the way it is. Sometimes there's, there's fisheries that are like that, but that seems to be the case with this pond. So uh, yeah, I wish I could have got here earlier, but the situation is uh, that I got here at 2.30ish. So I've been out here for three hours, three and a half hours maybe. It's about 5.45 maybe right now. And, uh, and uh, yeah, it was a good time. Hope you enjoyed. Hope and seeing the fish down in the sight fishing hole there. And uh, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.